Hello everybody, Wolf here with another review video. Sorry I've been so long with the um, in-between videos. And also, sorry about the kind of messed up view back here. Uh, I've been renovating, and by that I've been knocking down walls um, and making the chapel space bigger, which you can actually see back here. Uh, and my desk right now is at an odd angle, so I'm having to actually look up at the camera. Um, and if you see me on my videos, look off to the side here. It's because my notes and everything are actually on the monitor. And I got the bad habit of just looking over here instead of looking into the camera. But on to the show. Now, I know I even got some slack online for this, but um, on Facebook. I bought online uh, incense from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I know Hobby Lobby has some issues, but... Uh, that's another video in itself. Right now I'm just reviewing the incense. At first I was worried um, because a lot of this incense carried by hobby stores is usually crap. I was actually quite surprised. The Indian sandalwood smelled 100% like sandalwood. It is the sandalwood scent. I just wish it come in sticks because uh, while I do like cones, I actually prefer sticks. Uh, so, actually, I recommend this scent. The next up is frankincense, which in a l other video I told it's incredibly hard to get the scent right. This one matches it better than the Walmart stuff and better than other even New Age incense. The actual scent here is, uh, now it's kind of rare. I don't know how many people have actually smelled it. I found mine through the incense store, the incense house. And that's the, the green frankincense, which is incredibly expensive, usually. Um, and it don't dry very long, you know. And everything. It's got that scent to it. And I'm like, hey, I know this scent. It's more floral, but um, uh, this is the exact smell of the green frankincense uh, in stick form. Now, um, for purists... Um, the sticks do not have any foreign material. It's just wood powder put onto the stick in the scent. It does not have any foreign materials that would be considered uh, impure for religious reasons. Um, the frankincense, I'm in love with this and I highly recommend it. The next one uh, is the myrrh, but it's in the other room. It, it, They add a sweet fragrance to the myrrh to make it a little bit sweeter. Those of us that have burned it actual myrrh. I understand it's kind of bitter. Um, but I like it and I recommend it too. And it works great with the frankincense. Um, like I said, I was really shocked on these. I thought it was going to be another oh dollar store incense. But no, actually. The next one up, Egyptian musk. This is spot on with the musk, or at least the one I got was spot on. Now, there's even a oud scent kind of underlying it. The joke is good oud actually smells like a locker room uh, for those of us that actually burn food. <laughs> but um, this captures the musk scent better than uh, any of the other incenses I've tried. And it's just not overpowering. A lot of the uh, Hindu incenses I've tried that are musk labeled, uh, it's too perfumey. This is more earthy, down to earth, and really good. So yeah, I actually recommend all these flavors, um, no matter what your stance on Hobby Lobby is. Um, I'm probably actually going to order more. But as with all things, each lot will smell a little bit different. So if you happen to be in there, grab a few of these to see if you like it. Now, for 40 sticks, it's just like $1.99, which is actually a good deal because uh, the price of incense is going up lately. So, yeah, if you happen to go online or whatever, pick you up some, see if you like it. Just grab one or two to begin with, because we all know that uh, <laughs> what I like, you might not like. So, that's the end of this review before I make it too long. Um, until the next video, write blessings.